Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Leos and it's for April onwards 2024. My dear Leo, this is your general reading about everything you need to know, everything important, every factor that needs to be pointed out to you, make you aware of what's happening, where you're at and where you're heading. Messages from the universe, messages from your guardian angels, it's all going to be in this reading about every sector of your life. My dear Leo, welcome. My dear viewers, all of you, welcome to this channel. Welcome to this reading. I hope you will enjoy it. I want you to be uh, mindful that there are four messages here for every Leo, but you can make it personal in your own by asking a question or something you want to know and get a specific answer. You've got or timing, for example. You've got these four to choose from. You can have one question, ask, choose four answers. You can have two or three or up to four questions and choose whichever combination. So I'll be opening that in, in uh, a moment. Let's have a look at the message for today. For all Leo. Okay. Oh, there it is. Finally came out. Okay. We have, it says, the festival. Time to celebrate with the festival. It says to me here that um, creating energetic blueprint for a fantastic event, something wonderful, my dear Leo, something incredible is going to take place. I feel like it's going to free you from challenges. I feel like you're going to have freedom and a lot is happening in your um, partnerships, something wonderful happening in partnerships, something to be celebrated. So that's great news. Let's have a look at one of the most important factors, two messages for all Leo for April. The first one, it says purity. Something wonderful is taking place. You're detoxifying, you're purifying, you're releasing all toxins. Some major health matter is, is healing. I feel like there's going to be healing. I feel like you are going to overcome a challenge. And I do feel like there could be possibly someone passing. But um, just to prepare you for that. And one more. And success is coming also. That was the other one that I wanted to say. Okay, so we have the dragon spirit. The dragon spirit is about change. It is also about seeing the truth. It is about ending of a chapter. It is about ending one karmic chapter. It is about beauty, meditation, and a grand change that brings you the truth. The absolute truth. That's beautiful. Okay, so we have that festival purity and detoxifying from everything that's been um, unhealthy for you in your life and we have change that brings out the truth okay let's have a look at the butterfly spirit to see what it has for you for all leo april onwards wow i need my glasses for this bear with me my dear viewers okay it says Parenting and children, something about family, parenting and children that might need your attention. Something wonderful might be happening or maybe a change in um, parenting and children. Some new changes. Now let's have a look at uh, two important factors here. Two messages. I'll just remove these for a moment. Okay, here we go. Two important factors for all Leo. We have... Wow, the Ten of Cups, that's beautiful. Dreams come true, fulfillment, dream life, your wishes, your home, um, happiness, having your dream life given to you and purchasing a home, paying off a home and a lot of happiness, extraordinary happiness. The Ten of Cups, beautiful. And the next one is the Seven of Cups. This shows that you there is an opportunity that is coming your way and in uh, in the midst of this opportunity you just need to pay attention to details so that you don't uh, misinterpret something or um, miss out on something that's hidden so that you see everything clearly but there is a great opportunity and it could be opportunity of love possibly okay now i'm gonna open up these messages for every leo prepare if you're not ready just put me on hold and then on pause and then unpause it when you're ready to know the answers. Let's see. These messages are for all Leos. The first one says recovery. Recovery. Mm, healing. This was about healing also. Healing here. Purity. Healing. Something is getting healed. 
in your life. I feel like you are going to recover from something that's been that you've been wondering about or worried about. It has to okay. The key has two meanings. First, it's a resolution, so there is going to be something uh, resolving a problem. It could be concerning another person. It could be concerning a home, real estate, your home, your foundations, and your health and relationships. So recovery coming from all avenues, healing coming to you from every angle. Okay, let's have a look at this one. It says renewal. There's a new lease of life, renewal of life, renewal of something wonderful in your life, a new chapter perhaps. Now, it could be a new birth, another one. Okay, so we've got another one that needs my glasses. Okay, it shows here, it says, I'm seeing synchronicities like your, your name or 1111. Wow, I see 1111 always. That's the only number I see 1111. I'm so connected to 1111. Okay, so it says I'm seeing synchronic synchronicities like your name or 1111 and working out what they mean wow that's amazing and there is a direction here showing and how amazing is that 11 we've got number 11 so 11 11 and then 11 11 november something is changing in november for you something major it's taking a different direction hmm Something that you will be welcoming in November. Something magnificent is happening for you in November. Chinese Year of the Dog also. Healing also. 11 is healing. Um, Chinese Year of the Dog. Okay. And somebody born in November, which is Scorpio or Sagittarius. Now we've got here the Tower. That was for timing, November. Or it could be 11 days from now. 11 weeks from now. Just in case you want a timing. We have the tower. The tower is about standing alone, standing strong. It is about guidance. It could be about government, government situations. It could be about institutions. Um, it is about corporations also. There could be a, a situation with the legal system that you need to pay attention to. Something is going to heal. Something is going to become better. Um, you are going to experience uh, some sort of um, guidance letting you know how to do this. And you're not alone. Uh, 19 is the end of a chapter. It is also the beginning of a new wonderful chapter. It is about um, Chinese year of the rat, Chinese year of the snake. Those of you who are born the Chinese year of the snake, Chinese year of the monkey, um, and Chinese year of the rooster. It is about June. Something big is happening in June. Maybe you're taking a big step or a big leap of faith. Something's happening big in June. I also feel like 19th of June, it will be very significant for you. Very interesting. Hmm. And as for timing, I would say six weeks from now. Six to ten weeks from now. So that's that one. Now I'm going to go through and see what else you need to know. Four messages for all Leo. For April onwards. We have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands shows that you need to make a quick decision about something. Taking advantage of an opportunity. Resolving a problem. Recovery. That can bring you recovery. That could be all possible. But you need to act quickly. Something will be said to you. An air energy is involved here, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This person could be advising you what the best course of action is. It's very important that you listen. Uh, this person is very logical. They don't use their emotions, so they use all their intellect. So pay attention to someone of air energy. Then we have, and then of course I'll clarify to see if it is that or something else. You could be leaving an air energy. So... Uh, once we clarified, we'll understand what that is. The hangman shows that you have been sacrificing, and if you haven't, you will be putting your interest aside and doing for the sake of someone. Um, maybe this sacrifice is going to help you quickly uh, resolve a problem, or you might be released from this by taking action quickly. You might res resolve and um, not need to sacrifice so much. Let's have a look. Ultimately, there is a, a beautiful life waiting for you with love and a lot of money coming, the Nine of Pentacles. That's beautiful. End of quarrels, a new beginning that brings you prosperity. That is excellent. Okay, let's take three more important messages and see what else you need to know for all Leo. Oh, they won't fall. No, they won't. Okay, we have the King of Cups. Someone of water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces is going to be very helpful. 
uh, very supportive um, indeed and maybe more about this person we'll find out more maybe you are sacrificing for the sake of this person maybe you're meeting this person uh, we'll find out more as i clarify okay we need two more it says the empress the empress is about a nurturing powerful energy from the heavens that will give you abundance in every area of your life and then hence you've got the nine of pentacles so i see why beautiful changes are coming i can see and understand why and finally emotionally unhappy so when you are emotionally un unhappy things are going to change but you do need time to heal it does look like you are unsatisfied with something so i'll just put this one here and we'll work it out together the wheel of fortune that shows that destiny is going to intervene and bring you the lovers i'll take that this is what you don't see coming the wheel of fortune bringing you someone wonderful someone incredible where you are going to make major decisions about okay so we'll leave this one like that now let's see what else we need to know more information and then i'll clarify so we'll take two more okay so we got two of them oh beautiful that was easy so we have the book and the anchor the book is about paperwork contracts but learning as you go you've got to be very vigilant because we have the seven of uh, cups uh, attention is needed to detail we've got the queen of swords which shows you've got to pay attention when you're dealing with any kind of documents small prints everything some of you could be thinking about writing writing your own book taking a class uh, educational matters law matters and government don't forget we have government so dealing with something like that now the anchor shows that there will finally be stability you will finally feel stable money blocks are being removed being stuck that's all going financial sound everything will be f sound financially you'll start feeling comfortable again some of you could be planning a travel some of you could be thinking about careers and travel or water related careers but stability is the most important factor now so stability is coming and this is also this shows to me that stability is coming without a doubt so this renewal a new uh, renewal and anchor it shows to me that there is stability stability is coming in your life and it's going to be not only money a lot of a lot of it so you don't have to even think about working you can rest and have an early retirement but also um also um meeting the one that is going to be very supportive perhaps because of this um the lovers the lovers could be the reason this is what's coming don't forget and i feel like destiny is going to bring you an amazing renewal honestly and i think you will be very very happy and you will finally have stability in your love life and in your um financial life at the same time because the nine of pentacles is a lot a lot of money and living a life of luxury so destiny could be also bringing that on bringing you a life of luxury and the empress together with the um you are the empress so that you know this card the empress which is the power and glory that brings you abundance and abundance in every area and the wheel of fortune and the nine of pentacles shows that you are going places and the change that's coming is going to be spectacular the change is going to bring you um a lot of abundance and the wheel of fortune shows a lot of luck and abundance coming your way but in many areas of your life not just your money your money is thriving but more than that you've got the love of someone with a wonderful soul entering your life and bringing you a lot of happiness where you're encountering amazing happiness with someone and really wanting to make decisions based on that happiness okay this is what you don't see coming by the way so let's move on to the next level we're going to take two messages from this deck and then okay oh they opened up is that right yes okay so it says here um children hmm there was festivity there were things about children i saw that before i think somewhere hmm. okay um yes there it is i was wondering where i saw children so children is mentioned again for those of you who are parents or for those of you who are parents to be it says parenting and children now it says your love life is being affected by children for some of you it could be pets but there are children's children affecting your love life so you might be meeting someone that has children uh, you might be meeting someone that has no children and you will be showing them uh, sharing with them your children or you could be planning to have a family 
to start a family. Some of you could be looking at pets as children. So pets are part of this too. Now this one, a heart to heart conversation is going to be spectacular as you honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Your, um, your connection becomes deeper. It becomes more deeper and you understand each other even on a very high level. So that is beautiful. That's really great news. Now let's see what the message is for today for everyone. For Leo. For Leo. Oh, Leo. And we've got, it says, if you could do anything, ask yourself, what would it be? The answer dwells within your heart, not in your mind, because your heart is the gateway to your soul. So within your soul, within your heart, within your gut feeling, you already know what the answer is. If you could do anything now, what would it be? Ask yourself and you'll get an answer. Now I'm going to start clarifying everything here. Starting with the Four of Cups, let's see why you are emotionally unsatisfied and unhappy. What is causing that? Is it because you're leaving or you need to leave a situation? Is it because somebody's left? What is the situation all about? The Four of Cups for all Leo, the truth. Okay. Okay, so something has ended. That's why. Something has come to an end. A chapter of your life is ending. Maybe it hasn't completely come to an end, but it's coming to an end. And once it's ended, you are going to reap a lot of victories and an abundance of money and love. Love is coming. Emotional fulfillment to the highest level. So you are destined for a lot of happiness. You need to know that. Destined for absolute happiness. Destined um, for a life of luxury destined for what else there was one more thing bear with me just what you don't see coming a lot of love from someone someone wonderful entering your life so a lot of money um a lover that's going to be incredible you will connect on a high level making decisions quick decisions like out of nowhere and the greatest gift of all which could be a windfall or it could be a love life or it could be something more than a love life because it fulfills you in every area of your life so prepare for destiny to take its toll and bring you on something uh, wonderful bringing you on something magnificent and Ultimately, you're not going to have just love and just happiness and the home or dream life you wanted, but a lot of abundance, a lot of abundance where you can be free, freedom and plenty, a life of luxury. That is what's coming. That's what's the most important message today in your reading. You are going to be abundantly given by the universe. You, the changes that are coming in your life are changing everything. They're taking you to high levels that you never expected. My dear Leo, so this is uh, the biggest, the most important factor for you. So all this came up because we talked about the Four of Cups being emotionally unhappy now, dissatisfied and nothing is moving you. you nothing can make you happy now. You're just so uh, very much disappointed um emotionally and that's why this this is happening because of an ending and then we talked about the ace bringing on everything that we talked about the happiness the fulfillment the abundance the life of luxury and so forth now let's have a look at the sacrifice that you're making and what's going on with this this sacrifice ultimately is coming to an end uh, the end of a chapter so let's have a look at the hangman for all leo Yes, it is. How amazing. I said it's going to come to an end, and that's what this is. This is an ending. This is a chapter that's been suffocating. It's been overwhelming you, and you have been sacrificing for a long time. This sacrifice ends now. This chapter that's been overwhelming you ends now. It comes to an absolute ending. Why and how? Because of one of your wishes. One of the oldest wishes you've had and you've been praying for and wanting for the longest time. This is the time now to get your wish and you are going to be ending a very painful suffocating chapter so and no more sacrifice so that's beautiful great news and there it is again ending end 
of a chapter and guess what after this there comes the rewards a lot of rewards a great victory a recognition and you are going to be feeling on top of the world after this ending now let's have a look at the king of cups and see what the king of cups is all about you could have been sacrificing putting all your efforts uh, in regard to this king of cups someone of water energy scorpio cancer pisces but we will find out what are the star sign combination at the end of this reading star sign combination of the people that you're dealing with uh, in april or the people that you are leaving or the people that you're moving consumed with and um meeting for the first time perhaps we'll find out their star sign combination at the end of the reading so stay tuned for that and let me start to see who the king of cups is for all leos king of cups and then we've got the page of cups it is someone that you do uh, worry about. It's someone that you have a lot of anxiety about. It is someone that you have sleep. You have had sleepless nights worrying and crying and sad for. This person, uh, I feel like this person was someone that was part of your journey that you had to go through learning together, team together. It could be one of your children at the same time. I do feel that there is a resolution coming. Recovery is coming. Someone is going to inspire you and help you to um, overcome the sadness about this person and finally put an end to it. Your mind is expanding, you're looking at the bigger picture and you're moving away from this. You're, you're moving to the next level, next level of life. Let's have a look at the Eight of Wands and see how the Eight of Wands will help you, my dear Leo, to take advantage of a situation and to do it qu quickly, to resolve a problem resolution which we have the key and recovery right next to it and to take advantage of an opportunity let's see what that one's all about the truth for old leo wow the wheel of fortune is part of this how amazing you remember i said what you don't see coming is the wheel of fortune so there it is and this wheel of fortune shows to me that yes you need to take advantage of a situation quickly but it is regarding someone that is going to be very supportive someone of earth energy virgo taurus capricorn is going to be inspiring you and helping you with this decision we're talking about this my dear viewers, so you know the eight of wands so i feel like destiny is going to get this person to uh, get involved and this person is an earth energy someone that you can rely on someone very trustworthy virgo taurus capricorn they are going to help you in regard to the situation or the situation could be in regard to this person so how amazing is that that is truly amazing and that is going to be also granting you your wishes wishes will be granted that's amazing okay that is truly incredible so now I know why I feel like you are going to be supported big time. And that's why we've got stability coming your way. I feel like a heart to heart conversation is going to be helping big time, whether it's going to be an emotional one or otherwise, it is going to give you um, a sense of stability. You'll finally know where you stand. And I do sincerely feel this is in connection to someone of very strong earth energy within them, Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. Okay, so now we move on to the next level. And the next level is this great happiness that's waiting for you. The Ten of Cups, something just fell. Okay, the Ten of Cups happens at a time where you are thinking about moving, relocating. So I'll take out two more regarding the Ten of Cups. Now, the Ten of Cups could be selling a house, um, buying a new house. You are in the midst of, but a lot of blessings are coming. You are in the midst of um thinking whether you should stay or go you should buy or sell or live here or live there uh, ultimately a resolution is coming news is coming to help you with this money is coming to support you and again there's the earth energy that we talked about it doesn't matter about the genders we've got male female doesn't matter it's not gender it's the energy of earth virgo taurus capricorn someone of earth energy is going to be very supportive and is going to guide you support you and ultimately you are destined for a lot of blessings remember i asked about the ten of cups and it shows to me that with the ten of cups um, something miraculous is taking place and it could be concerning someone of earth energy so a lot of happiness and a lot of hurraying as you can see a lot of gratitude for all the blessings that are pouring in my dear leo this is ma magical this is absolutely magical for you incredible so what a beautiful answer in that regard now 
let's move on to the seven of now before i do the seven i'm going to clarify just a little bit the um the um the empress let's see what the empress will do for all leo the empress is going to give you abundance and release you from something that has been uh, an area of your life where you've been sad and unhappy you're leaving it you're able to leave now because of the power of the empress so the empress gives you that power that that incredible power of abundance uh, wealth money is coming and leaving a situation that you're unhappy that's what it's bringing to you that's what it's giving you a lot of abundance and put an end, putting an end and there it is the empress we're talking about and oh my god it's all connected as you can see you see the empress that's the empress okay this is the empress and what it's doing it's putting an end look at that exactly what this is putting an end to something that's no longer working See, we got these two cards when I asked about this. Okay, I'll explain it to you. We got these two cards. It's giving you abundance and it's giving you, sorry, it was giving you abundance, unexpected large amount of money and releasing you from something that was sad. And at the bottom of that, what you don't see coming was exactly that, the Empress releasing you from something that has no future. So that's ending, right? And bringing on abundance. You see that? How exactly, how the synchronicity is overwhelming, releasing you from something where you're not happy and has no future, is coming to an end. That's what the Empress is doing. And it's giving you a lot of abundance, a lot of money, unexpected large amounts that give you a life of luxury, a life of abundance, absolute, amazing, incredible change and elevation in your life. That's the nurturing power of the Empress. That's what the Empress is doing. Now let's move on to the next level. And the next level is, so now we know there's no need to go into this because you are destined for a life of luxury. Without a doubt, that is part of your destiny and it's coming. There's no doubt about this at all. And um, now I'm just going to see what the Seven of Cups is all about. For all Leo, what are these emotional choices? You've got to be very careful and distinguish between someone that's being a little bit too controlling or too excessive. There is a new beginning that's going to ignite and it's going to be spectacular. I feel like it's going to bring you someone wonderful. you just got to be careful if somebody's embellishing. You are destined to be very, very happy. There's a lot of celebrations coming your way. And the final one is the Queen of Swords. Let's see what is the edge energy of the Queen of Swords for all Leos. And it shows here you are going to be released, totally released from a situation that's been restricting you. Perhaps it was connected to the water energy. We have the King here of Cups. Now we have the Queen of Cups being entrapped by someone that is of Water has water energy in them, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You are going to be released very soon and um, justice will prevail for you. Very soon there's news and you are getting a total release to be able to move forward with the truth. With Both are the truth and they're both to do with justice for you and being able to move forward all in your favor. So release big time. Now, my dear viewers, let's have a look at the star sign combination of the person you are going to be consumed with, overwhelmed with, in April. So we've got Capricorn being the earth energy that we keep talking about. Remember, I keep saying earth energy, earth energy, earth energy. We've got the first one, which is Capricorn. Capricorn is the earth energy. That's one. There could be more. Let's have a look. We're going to take five star sign combination if they become six that means they are two people let's see oh okay we've got cancer that's the other water energy that we keep talking about the water energy here that i keep saying water water energy we have the king and the queen that you are trapped or sacrificing in regard to it's a water energy and cancer is the water energy we're talking about so we've got the earth and the water let's see what else is there they've given me more so there's two people here We've got Saturn, which is the rule of Capricorn. Cap Capricorn doubles up. We have Neptune and Pluto. Neptune and Pluto are water energies. So we have Pisces, Scorpio, and we have Cancer. So that tells me that water energy very strong that you're dealing with now. 
And then there is earth energy that might be coming in your life, possibly. You might have just met this person who's going to be very supportive. And Capricorn seems to be the strongest here. And then there might be Libra in, in one of these. You could be dealing with a Libra also. Uh, that could be this, uh, this person here, Libra. So it shows to me that you are in a very strange position. You might be unhappy because you might be dealing with someone that is of earth energy and air, and that means they may be unhappy or unstable and you're leaving them behind. You could be uh, dealing also with someone that has earth energy with water, which means it is someone that is quite happy, wonderful, reliable, like the page of. So see, we have two, two people here. Now the ace of, where is that? Bear with me, I might leave you with. When I lose things, it becomes very hard. Okay, so I'm talking about um, timing is always my enemy. That's a problem. I'm trying to. Okay, so we're talking about the page of the page of uh, pentacles and the queen of pentacles. The page of pentacles, are oh, here it is. The page of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. So the earth energy that you might be leaving behind could be uh, Capricorn with, for example, um, with water energy. You could be leaving someone behind, but there is someone new coming also, and that other person has got earth energy. It could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, someone wonderful. Um, and I feel like this earth energy is going to help you move forward because we have this is very helpful. This person could have water energy in them, and like Cancer or Pisces or Scorpio. Water energy goes very well with you because, my dear, um, Leo, you are fire energy and water gives you, um, it replenishes you and it cools you down. And at the same time, in return, the water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, take from you warmth and they rely on your warmth. It makes them uh, more loving and more helpful and more nurturing towards you. So one nurtures the other. So it's spectacular. And both of you, water and fire, need ground to be to have foundation. And that's where Capricorn comes along. Earth energy, whether it's Taurus, Virgo, the other ones, but Capricorn has come up twice. That means for the majority, they'll be Capricorn. This earth energy gives you stability, gives you regeneration, and it works wonderful with you if there's no air energy. Now, if you are with a Capricorn with Libra, it might be a very complicated situation because the air constantly causes turbulence between you and the earth energy. And doesn't give you stability maybe that's why you're unhappy there's no stability but now with the anchor in your reading stability is coming so therefore i feel like you are going to be with someone of earth energy who's going to be very loving and very hopeful why because they've got water energy in them and with the water energy whether it's scorpio pisces or cancer they are going to be very supportive and you will work well together so i feel like here there are two strong energies two different people and I feel like um, that you're leaving something behind and moving towards something that's giving you a lot of happiness. And I see part of this happiness is this earth energy, very strong earth energy here, and perhaps, perhaps this water energy. So you might be dealing with uh, Capricorn with Cancer, for example, or Capricorn with Pisces, or Capricorn with um, Scorpio, either water energy. But they're all here. All the water energies are here. We've got Pluto, Scorpio. We have Neptune, Pisces, and Cancer. And then, of course, we have Earth. The air energy, Libra, it could be there giving you all the justice because Libra is there too. This is the Libra card, someone fair and square, a lot of justice. Uh, you could be um, also dealing with someone when when Earth does, uh, when, when air energy mixes with the three, um, I do find sometimes that with air energy sitting with Earth, it can give you that, extraordinary romance and loving and or you might have air um libra in you that's another possibility you might have libra you could be a libra leo and you will be doing very well when you are with earth because each air and fire do need earth energy having capricorn come twice in your reading it shows that capricorn is going to be the governing star sign in the person that you are dealing with and building with and going to have a lot of happiness with that's what it looks like to me. Happiness is coming from someone of earth energy like Capricorn. And I feel like this is going to be spectacular, spectacular for you. And it's going to take you to the level of happiness 
that you are destined for because you are destined for a lot of happiness it shows in all your cards you're destined for a lot of happiness and i feel like could be this person that has earth energy is going to be very supportive now for some of you the earth energy could be taurus or virgo but the main one the majority of leo are going to be dealing with someone that has Capricorn and you are going to be thriving together, regenerating each other and moving forward. And a lot of loving with a lot of nurturing and a lot of excitement and a lot of foundation, more than anything else. You'll have foundation, you'll have durability, you will have endurance in any kind of love. So if you could do anything right now, what would it be? Probably getting in contact or finding this Capricorn. <laughs> And that is the end of your reading. I hope you enjoyed it, my dear viewers. Let me know what you think. There is a festivity. There is a big event coming up, if you don't know. Anxiety ends. Entrapment ends. Uh, sacrificing ends. A chapter that was overwhelming goes. And now you're ready for rewards. After a, a very painful chapter coming to an end, you are going to be thriving and you are going to be celebrating. This one better. And a lot of rewards. After a chapter ends, remember that. A lot of celebrations and a lot of rewards coming your way. And that's the end of... Actually, this is what I want to put here. Why? Because we've got the tens, right? Have a look. We've got the ten of um, karmic ending, very painful ending. Then we've got the suffocation, something that's been overwhelming. And then we've got the ten that gives you all the happiness in the world and celebrations. Isn't that incredible? These are all big chapters coming to an end and new ones starting this incredible happiness beginning and you're celebrating that i hope you enjoyed your reading do give me a thumbs up my dear viewers let me know what you think subscribe to the channel if you haven't and support me and see the videos all the way to the end without stopping them in support of me and i look forward to your comments i wish you a lot of blessings and a lot of love and